What's going on? What's going on? Brutus here, bringing you the latest beer run episode. Uh, for today, we have Dwarf. With uh, so beer run is uh, the clanny in the war that has two fresh hit three stars, hence the six pack. So let's use today's uh, Orange War versus North Remember. It's going to be a close one. One hour remaining, a few attacks each side. I'll bring that recap shortly after it's done. Uh, without further ado, let's showcase Dwarf on 13 and uh, 14. So these are both fresh hits. Before I even do that, I should prove that to you. Uh, let's do this. Dwarf number 20. There you go. Two fresh hits. All right, so number 13. Really enjoyed this, too. Um, going to have a penta here. So he's, uh, he's going to start his queen. There it is. Opens up the wall so that the queen jumps in there. He has access to her. Uh, when the timing is right, he's got a CC lure as well. Uh, with the CC lure, he's got a um, archer way over on the far right, right over here. While that golem gets aggroed onto that archer, um, as he adjusted there, puts the uh, it poison down onto the archer queen. Um, golem comes into the picture. He misses the queen. Um, with all the point defense coming at him as well. Uh, now the um, Archer Queen is finally down, but the, the Golem is now uh, locked onto the Archer Queen, and she's out of the picture on her own. And then he starts his um, Pentaloon right here uh, with rages for them right there on both spots. You don't see any haste. Going to go ahead and work this in a uh, behind the sweeper uh, counterclockwise faction, uh, fashion a little bit of a sweep in motion it's, it's so pretty when you say it like that but look at just this pups for days Stu has a hound up outside Tesla farms which were common in this war um, but I really like this because he had no it's a fresh hit he had no idea what's in the CC um, he saw that it was a, um, a golem had some archers and just basically dragged the golem away from from his BK entry way on the far right hut uh, so that he had just a window of an opportunity to send in his BK to get that queen, um, but he missed her. Uh, he had to use both royals there, eventually gets her, and that's all he got. And he had a pentaloon remaining uh, counterclockwise uh, behind the sweepers with um, 480s versus 5 hounds. So just nothing but clean up here. We go to times 2. Just was a really nice, nice, nice raid. Um, all right, so there's one of the two. There's the army composition. Coming back out and going down just one. Looking at this army composition, I was just impressed. He's got giants up in this bad boy. We got my little Kalani in there, just chill, uh, screaming in the background. Well, he's got two hound, uh, two hogs, and five giants. So if we push play here, looking at the base, he's got some sort of a Lalo for this. Um, because he's got those two hounds and 20 plus loons, sends in his five giants to tank for uh, his queen on that motor while she starts clearing away some of the um, high hit points uh, storages as well as the wizard there, gets the CC lure, part of those five giants responsibility is now done. Queen's going to come over, p uh, poison is down to st um, uh, for the CC, Queen steps up and he's aiming for not only this air defense but the queen as well, and he misses it. So he shoots on the uh, shoots gets caught on this um, caught on this high hit point storage. Gets the uh, the air defense, which was a good co um, substitute consolation prize. But he really wanted to get the queen as well. She just doesn't step up in there. Uses the ability. Now he's got to deal with the queen at the end. Sweepers are still kind of bo both directions. Sends in the hound from this direction. Um, he double. I uh, usually you see a double stack on the first one, but because he has a max hound on that first air defense, he doesn't really need to double stack it because of the added HPS that it comes with it. Um, with the right side uh, air defense going down, um, now he's going to push forward with the rage with the the hounds dragging across. There's no more air defenses. I uh, just really enjoyed this. Um, have the uh, other other loons from the top end portion fighting the sweeper, but because he had the rage uh, up in that section, they could fight through it as well as take down a lot of the um, splash damage on the to the trash as well as the defenses on the way moving inward. And at the very end here, he's got a queen that is locked onto a hound um, that 
sniping the loons, but the pups get the queen. And I believe they call that a, um, a some slang out there is called a queen pop. Basically, you do a lalo and you leave the queen for the end. And uh, to, you know, you, you want to you want enough time. It's it's kind of uh, I don't want to say it's luck in a way, but it's fortunate that the um, the pups when the the hound bust swarm upon uh, the archer queen. The only thing that that's scary about that is that if there's trash buildings ar um, around there. Um, or defenses are that could snipe those pups as they get busted. You know, it may not work, but in this one was perfect. Uh, queen was working on a loon. Um, all the all the all the pups converged upon the queen, um, and she was a beefy thirty queen, if I wasn't mistaken. Um, just really nice, nice raid that didn't go exactly to plan because he missed the queen on the opening entry. Uh, but that's a six pack for dwarf man. Really nice. This is his first uh, arrange war back. I believe he took a break, uh, so he was really hyped up. If you go to times two with the cleanup on this, really hyped up for this war, uh, making his presence felt to a six pack as well as I believe he had a defense. Uh, maybe that might have been um, Tebow or, or Thibo. All right, well that's gonna do it for this beer run series. Nice war, dwarf, and uh, we'll leave you guys with the parting shot. shot um, with the 84-89 and, and another attack going on. I, I don't know what's going to happen. You're going to have to see the recap. Once again, it's Brutus reminding you, got to be better than a double, and I'll check you next time.